Shield and Nidal Update, September 1, 2015. 10 Can, 17 uh oh, 12 Manic, Silamat Balak. We are in a grand time of transition. The dark cabal continues to weaken. Agreements are in place that firmly delineates its demise. The dark was forced to sign agreements that describe how the United States Federal Reserve is to end and how the RV is to be carried out. This series of documents as well explain how the GCR is to move the world into a modified gold standard, and transforms your world into a new set of gold and silver backed currencies. This set of currencies operates under a new banking system first proposed by China and Russia. This highly transparent vehicle is to be the means whereby a vast plethora of money makes possible a whole host of much needed humanitarian and infrastructure projects. Along with these are to be a prosperity which is to be used to phase out money as an instrument for value. Technologies are to be introduced, which move your consciousness beyond the mere concept of money. You need to perceive your reality in a more spiritual vein. As your consciousness grows and you sit at the edge of contact, you are to see a new reality that vastly alters what you now consider possible. We are in awe of how quickly you are transforming. As you swiftly move toward first contact, you are to witness a number of amazing things. Heaven began this millennium with a timetable. In just 15 years, you have advanced to the point where a worldwide conflagration is no longer possible. In addition, you have defeated the efforts of the Dark Cabal to be able to convince you that its armies are really doing the right thing. You have forged a series of beliefs that make it difficult for any nation to use any type of excuse to start either a regional or global war. These new beliefs are due to the growing web of consciousness that surrounds you. Every day, you grow in consciousness as either heaven or our medical teams alter your structure. These transformations of your chakras or your major nervous systems are the reason the dark is unable to stall your development. Heaven states to us that you are beyond a point where this grand transformation can be stopped. Only a series of delays regarding your financial system is still possible. This it is now reaching a point where even this can no longer be stalled by the dark. You are actually close to a first contact. The major governments controlled by the dark cabal are losing the ability to steer global events. The light and its numerous components are very close to pushing these ancient braggarts aside. The most important event is soon to be the actual exchange of the RV and the realization of its corollary. The Global Currency Revaluation GCR. These are only the first steps that are to lead to a precious metal-backed currency and a revised new banking system. Ever bear in mind, that with these comes a whole slew of now sequestered technologies. Among these is a processor, which can transform how you obtain your food, clothing and shelter. In addition, how you provide for the electrical energy that powers your life, is as well to change. You are being liberated from the age-old need to farm, mine and even to fish. You are to be able to forge a society that is on the very edge of ending your long dependence on money. You are on the precipice of a great new reality. You are close to the type of global society that we are quite used to. First contact, at present, can seem almost unbelievable. Yet the things you have invented over the past century and a half are most remarkable. Nevertheless, most of these were sequestered by the world's major governments at the strong request of the Dark Cabal and its Anunnaki overlords. This process kept you at a pace that was exploited with glee by the Dark Cabal. Even with this sort of controlled progress you moved from the Steel Age, to the Computer Age in just over 50 years. The next step is to be quite grand. In less than a decade, you have moved beyond the Computer Age to a very spiritually oriented one. The growth of consciousness is bringing all the old ways into question. You are forging a series of electronic subcultures that are vastly altering the gap between a typical teenager and one who is in the early stages of a college education. These generational gaps are increasing and mirror how quickly you begin to pick up and use your new levels of consciousness. This is just the merest of beginnings of what lies ahead. Namaste. We are your ascended masters. Your world is now in transition as heaven's sacred decrees become manifested. Everywhere the light and its many mighty parts are taking down the dark and its errant ways.
We are seeing how those who so arrogantly thought to circumvent heaven are falling to those who have courageously carried out its divine commands. Soon you are to rejoice, as your numerous blessings and new governance are to graciously triumph over the dark and its numerous sets of minions. These rogues are to be jailed and separated from the public so they are unable to influence the making of this new reality. Additionally, the rapscallions are to be deprived of their ill-gotten wealth and denied any form of interaction with their former associates. With this isolation, you are finally to be able to forge unions that form new governance. These developments are to rearrange your world and make heaven's divine plan possible. What is now happening is the moment when you are to be freed from the bondage of the last 13 millennia. Then, you are to truly become a child of the ever-loving Creator. When your ancestors first came here, they were free, fully potentialized beings. These beings knew neither of death, nor of the many fears and worries that now dominate your lives. Each life was lived in love, and in essence, a part of the divine cycle of life. These beings possessed light bodies and were in constant contact with immortal angels and sacred guides. Every day was filled with joys and ecstasies given by heaven and by this physical realm. Now you are nearly done with the limited consciousness that has occupied your lives with fears and quiet desperations. This coming time is one we have carefully prepared you for. Our teachings are the body for what you are to encounter. Many millennia ago, Heaven set down how a brotherhood and sisterhood of the light, which was to be forged from the sacred souls of humanity, guides were chosen to watch, and at the proper time to conduct ceremony to alter these chosen ones for immortality. They were to be charged with helping, giving mercy and interceding for those mortal souls who had passed and or those who required special guidance. This was done to make each life somewhat bearable and to show that the Creator had not in any way abandoned them. As ascended masters, we have numerous sacred duties to show that each life was indeed sacred to the Creator. These blessed acts are part and parcel of a positive set of acts, which graciously move humanity forward. The next steps are to reconnect you to the sacred and the divine. This operation is to conclude with your return to full consciousness. Hosanna! Hosanna! Today we carried on with our weekly duty namely to inform you about what is occurring around this most magnificent blue-green orb. Gaia is readying herself to redo this surface reality while you morph into a most beautiful and divine butterfly. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Salamat Gajun. Salamatia. Syrian for B1. And be in joy.